a couple lower units here that we're resealing. I've already done the prop shaft seals and the shift shaft seal. We're missing the drive shaft seals. So we just got them in. Install them. Pretty easy. Ready to take the socket. Two seals here. Usually, wipe, put a little grease on them, so they seat a little bit easier. Look at that! It's right on in. And you got an O-ring here. We've already placed that. Put a little grease on that. Pretty easy. And this is the drive shaft. There is a shim and space that goes here. It's already down there. And then this needs to line up with the hole that's down in there. So just remember that. Let me just tap it in. Slide right on. And you just take a little punch. Line them up. Tap it over a little bit. Make sure all the holes are lined up. Good. Here are the bolts. These are 12 millimeter. Down like that. Grease, you grease everything. I always make it where always think if you're the next one that's going to take it apart. So, 12 millimeter. We'll get our socket. Let's clean this stuff up. This is a cover that goes over the seals. There's a little grease. We got those seals in, all that. You're going to pull. We got to pressurize it now. Let's make sure your seals are there. Let's put this one back in. We're going to replace these when we're all done. This here. All right. pressurize it. Make sure we're on pressure on our sensor. So this one will do vacuum or pressure, but we're doing pressure. So we want to put it up about eight pounds. Five, five to eight pounds. Get bolts in here. Go! So we're holding. Maybe let it sit for about a minute or two. And we're good. Cool. So we're good. So uh, let's undo that. We just pressurized it. You know it's good. We'll take the vent out. Let's 
So the rest of the milky gear that runs out, we'll flush it out too when we fill it. All the stuff comes with the gasket, wear plate, key, o rings, impeller, and a cup. And the hardware to mount it down. Wear plate. Boom. Our bag of our mystery parts. Those. Our key. Right here. Grease. Does this have a breaking tool or something? Tap it in. Take a little grease, I always wrap grease up this area, slide it down further. Same thing up here, same thing up here. And then these have a little indentation, that's where the key's gonna go. See, or you just find the turn it down. Line her up, slide right on it. Now this is an older one, this is a 150 lower. It comes with these washers. You do flat, wavy, flat, that's how it goes. Put these on first. You put the plastic coupler. And then you put the metal coupler. And I usually do is take a pair of pliers and put it on there and there you go. Now let's assemble the housing. Take the cup, here's the housing, o-ring goes here, the cup, and then another o-ring here. So we put the O-ring, put a little grease, put grease in the cup too so it's easy to install. Take the cup, line it up, push it down, take a little more grease, and we'll just flip it around here. So that's the O-ring, when we put it on it sticks. If you have grease, it will stay in place. And try not to get any grease in that little hole right there. It's a vent. Put grease there, it takes a minute for it to start peeing. And I put a little grease in here. It's all ready. Loading not going anywhere. Snap it on. Turn the impeller. Boom. She's in. Let me take our new hardware. Take all the wonderful bags of Yamaha. Grease. I always start them. No, they're not cockeyed or anything. And always push down these tabs. If you take your gun when you go to secure them down, they will flip around and tear this little indent that they go in. And tighten them up.
Navidad.